happened this time. Am, am I? Am I dreaming? Uh, Miss Ying Art, you really came all the way to Mondstadt to see me? Why were you willing to make the trip? I still can't believe it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to come see you, hmm? It's not like a quick trip from Liyue to Mondstadt is completely unheard of or anything. Also, isn't it time for you to drop the miss and just call me Yingar? Oh, Yingar. Mm-hmm. Ying R. <laughs> I, I, I think I still need some time to get used to calling you that. <laughs> Look at you, already so flustered. And we're just getting started. Uh, no, no, I, uh, I... Uh, I'm just overwhelmed with happiness. Thank you so so much for coming to see me for Windbloom. Kale! Sucrose! I brought some home-cooked food. Why don't we enjoy it together? Really? Sounds great! I... I must point out a small issue about your cooking. You have a tendency to put a little too much flavoring in your dishes. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I've been a little heavy-handed with the seasonings lately. Are you feeling stressed recently? Do you want to find someone to play cards with? It really helps with stress. I promise. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. If I recall, both you and Sucrose are pretty good players, right? Oh, yeah, we are. We've been playing together, and we were actually talking about this just a few days ago. Since you are already familiar, would you mind also showing me the rules sometime? Yeah, Kali seems to be a natural at the game. Maybe she's already the best player out of all of us. Huh? Me? That's right. You've been all talk at the tavern. That little girl from Sumeru is really good at the game. If I can find the chance... I would love to test my skills against her. Really? Isn't that great, Kali? You've become a TCG celebrity. Oh, I... I... <laughs> I quite like my new card back. It goes perfectly with my deck. I take it you've also received your card back? Want to use it to play around? Well, what do you think? I trust you've enjoyed this year's Windbloom Festival. I'm happy to see you find the time amidst your busy adventures to return to Mondstadt and celebrate the winds of freedom with us. And if you have a moment now, would you care to hear a new love poem I wrote this year? <clears throat> Allow me to recite it for you. This world has never seen such vibrant color. It bestows upon everyone a brilliant hue. A shade more ethereal than white, yet more radiant still than gold. It eases into your eyes and restores to light a solitary soul. Hmm, maybe a bit too somber. <laughs> uh, maybe I should write another one on sweet flowers instead. You like the card back from Sino, right? I must admit, I also spent a good amount of effort coming up with a design. His request was quite... Uh, interesting. He wanted a dragon, a cool pose, and a design that would stand out and awe his opponents. Although the commission was for himself, 
He wanted the back to be flashy enough to draw the attention of the opposing player. Perhaps there's something that can be said about how, when it comes to genius invocation TCG, friendship is more important than competition. He also said that such an impressive card back should be shared with friends. Since he gave it to you, this must mean he considers you to be a close friend. Oh, and speaking of, to repay my efforts, he also gifted me the card back as well. Hmm. Maybe I'll also give the game a try. Thank you so much for your surveying tips. I had no idea that the Sumeru Forest Watchers would also have expertise in this area. You really do know just about everything. It's only natural that forest watchers and surveyors would have some similar skills. We're both constantly outdoors and on the move after all. Anyway, I'm glad I could help. If I can find a chance, oh, I'd love to pay a visit to Sumeru as well. I've heard that the terrain is quite complicated there and it'd be a treat to see it for myself. Yes, complicated is indeed one way to put it. Visitors often get lost when they visit Sumeru for the first time, and they have a tendency to pick all kinds of mushrooms and fruits in the rainforest without discretion. Ah, uh, we get a lot of people here picking Philanima mushrooms as well. Actually, have you ever tried adding them to a recipe? They are quite bland by themselves, but perhaps the taste can be improved if they're cooked together with other ingredients. I've never tried that myself, but now that you mention it, I do want to give it a try. I'm quite curious too. Would you like to pick some together later? And a four-leaf clover. It's so pretty. Do you like it? Huh? Is it for me? Thank you, Clee. Um, could you also say something nice to Clee? Oh, of course. <clears throat> I've actually gotten really good at this. Hmm. Oh, Miss Clee, our mighty spark knight, you are the flame of hope for all of Mondstadt and the vessel for... Huh? What's a vessel? Oh, no, uh, Clee doesn't seem to really appreciate this kind of praise. Uh, okay, then. Clee, you're super adorable and your hat and backpack are the cutest. Uh, did your mom get them for you? Yep. Mom said that she picked them out with Dodoko, and Dodoko really loves this backpack, too, which is why Dodoko's always hanging from the side. Mom also said that someone else was also helping her pick out the gifts that day. Um, hmm, what was the name again? Ah, if Klee remembers correctly, people would call her the Old Hag. Wait, the old hag? Huh. Okay, well, now that you mention it, the old hag does have a fondness for picking out hats. <laughs> 